Okay, in this very short video, I'm going to explain adding amounts of money using the compact and extend, expanded addition methods. Okay, so we have here uh, three pounds and 74 pence add to two pounds 83. Okay. So uh, the first method I'm going to use is the uh, compact method and then I'll follow it up with the expanded method. Okay, so the compact method, I'll just write CM so we know that it's the compact method. Uh, obviously, it's always a good idea to uh, estimate what your answer is going to be just to make sure that you don't... Uh, come up with some wildly um, wildly inaccurate answers. So I'm going to write here in brackets my estimates for these two numbers and uh, add them together and I'll write the uh, answer down here okay and then that'll give me something to compare to when I'm done here. Okay so uh, three pound seventy four is pretty close to uh, four pounds. Okay, so I'll write four pounds, and two pound eighty three is pretty close to three pounds. So I'll write three pounds. Okay, now I'm just going to add them up. Okay, that should give me somewhere around seven pounds. Now because this is an estimate. Okay. Seven pounds is not going to be my exact answer, but it gives me an idea that um, my answer should be somewhere around seven pounds. Okay. All right. So let's go over to. Uh, I'm going to do these numbers here. Uh, just remember, you've got the units, tens, and hundreds. Okay. Remember that all the digits that are in the hundreds column when we're talking about money, they represent sets of a hundred. So this means that there are 300 pence in this number, and in this number it means that there's 200 pence in two pound 83. Okay, so try and keep that in mind, that might help you. Okay, so four at seven, sorry, four at three is gonna be seven, uh, 70 add 80, is going to be 150. We write 50 there, decimal, and we carry the 100 over to the hundreds column. Okay, so we've got 100 plus 300 plus 200 gives us 600, or in this 600 pence, and it translates to 6 pound 57. Okay, so 6 pound 57 is pretty close to 7 pounds, so I'm going to say that that's correct. Okay, so now let's go on to uh, the expand, sorry, the expanded addition method. Okay, in the expanded method, as you will probably remember from class, what we do is we basically partition these numbers into hundreds, tens, and units. Okay, so uh, we would write uh, 300 and 70 and 4 added to 280 and 3. So why are we writing uh, here? Why are we writing 300 and why are we writing 200? Because as I said before, this repre these digits on this side of the decimal, okay, here and here, represent 300 pence. This is 200 pence, which translates to two pounds. Okay, so that's why we can write 300 and 200 here, because this is 300 pence, 200 pence. Okay, so draw a line. Again, we have units, tens, hundreds. Okay, and you'll uh, notice that I don't write the decimal in because we're not there yet. Okay, so we add 4.3 is 7. 70 add 80 is 150. We write the 
50 there. And we carry the 100 over to here. Okay, that's 300 plus 200 plus 100 gives us 600. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I combine all of these, I add them all up, and then I add my pound symbol and my decimal point to give me the final answer, which will translate to 6 pound 57. Okay, and as you'll remember from the last example I've shown you, 6 pound 57 is exactly what I got in the last one with the compact edition, and we know that it's pretty close to 7 pounds, so that is probably correct. Okay, I hope this has been of some use to you. If it has been, please let me know. Okay, good luck.